Wow, may we find ourselves in a comfortable seated pose. I am gonna start in a um, butterfly or a diamond. I invite you guys to start in that position as well. If you choose, we're gonna work on opening up our hips the first part of this session. So we are in our bound position with our feet connecting and our spinal cords are nice and long. Our core muscles are nice and tight and our shoulders are relaxed downward away from our ears with our eyes closed or gaze down. May we use this time to relax and go inward. Maybe taking a nice deep intentional breath in, holding a breath, exhaling through the mouth, breathe in, exhale. Taking a moment to notice how the breath makes you feel at this moment. as we relax in silent meditation for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we place our hands on our feet or our ankles, we're gonna do a couple of seated cat cows here. Softly lifting our heart chakra upwards, our chin comes slightly up. We are in our cow, noticing how this feels in our body. As we exhale to cat, our chin comes towards our clavicle, our spinal cord goes to the back of the room. As we do a couple of cat cows to our natural breath, Two more breaths. As we find our pause at center, we are back in our butterfly or our diamond. Taking a moment to notice the difference between the butterfly and the diamond. In our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies and we will feel it deeper inside of our hips. In our diamond, our feet are further away from our body and it's not as much of a hip stretch here. I just want to take a moment to notice how each pose feels. As we gaze down and maybe slightly hinge, hinge at the hips, allowing our torso to relax downward towards our feet, towards the earth. Noticing how that opens up and goes deeper into the pose. Only going down as much as our bodies allow us to comfortably go. And we're going to hang out here for four more breaths. Two more breaths. As we slightly come back up to our butterfly or our diamond, noticing how that feels in our bodies. And we're gonna keep on warming up our hips here. We're gonna do a couple of circular rotations at our hips by leaning forward and rolling our bodies in this nice circle rotation. Noticing how that feels. Ensuring that our core is nice and tight Noticing how this feels within our thighs, within our hips and our lower back. We're gonna do three more rotations here. As we find our pause at center and maybe rotate in the opposite direction. Going as fast or as slow as we choose to go. One more breath. As we find our pause at center, noticing how we feel, we're gonna do a cow by lifting our chin up, our heart chakra comes open. Exhale into our cat. Flowing back to center as we straighten our legs out into a staff pose. 
breathing our palms above our head in our salute, slightly gazing up at the heavens. Our spinal cord gets nice and long here, feeling the stretch. Exhale to prayer. Our palms are at heart center, maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum. As we hinge at our hips, maybe reaching down to touch our ankles or the bottoms of our feet. Whatever feels good for you. As we gaze our eyes down, we'll close our eyes, taking natural breaths, allowing our torso to come closer towards our thighs. Now this pose here is a full body stretch. Maybe taking a moment to notice how this feels within the body as we hang out here for four more breaths. Two more breaths. As we slightly gaze up to a half forward fold, chin is slightly up, heart chakra is slightly open, noticing how this feels. Noticing how the complete forward fold feels as opposed to the half forward fold. Just taking a moment to notice the difference between the two and how they feel in your body. As we come up to our staff pose, lifting the body up, relaxing the body. As we cross our legs, coming into a cow face, maybe taking the right leg, placing it under the left leg, and taking the left leg and crossing it over the right leg, positioning our body into a cow face position. Keeping our spinal cord nice and long, tummies nice and tight, ensuring that our facial, our facial muscles are relaxed, our chin and our forehead are relaxed. As we gaze our eyes down or close them, if that feels good for us. And maybe we can breathe our palms at heart center, allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum, ensuring our shoulders are relaxed down. Using this pulse to relax and go inward and ground us here today. May we hang out here for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. And with our, with our palms at heart center, I just wanted to take this time to thank you guys for joining me here today in our practice teaching training session. This is a free zone to come and practice teaching or to watch another practice. Stress-free and pressure-free. And I just wanna thank you so much again for joining me here today. And if anyone has anything they wanna practice, feel free. If anything, if anyone has anything they wanna share, feel free. Two more moments of meditation here. As we breathe our palms above our head and our salute, our fingertips are reaching up towards the ceiling, feeling that stretch. Noticing how this feels in the body. As we breathe in, exhale, seated towards right side. As we softly gaze over that right shoulder, noticing how this feels in our spinal cord. We are relaxing and soothing here. Gazing over that shoulder, four breaths. Two more breaths. As we exhale to center, bringing our arms out to the side in a seated star. Our arms are off to the side. Heart chakra is up, chin is slightly up. Noticing how we feel in this pose. Two breaths. Exhale into salute, bringing our palms together, feeling that stretch. Spinal cord is nice and long here. Breathe in. Exhale, seated twist, opposite side, gazing over that opposite shoulder, noticing how this feels in the spine. You're gonna hold this pose for breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into our star. Heart chakra is open, chin is slightly up. 
Breathe into our salute, palms above our head. Exhale to our prayer. Two breaths. As we take this moment to try to go into our full cow face. And what the full cow face is, is when we can start with either side. I'm going to start with my left, taking my left hand, placing it behind my back. Then I take my right hand and reach it over my head and try to connect into lacy. My fingertips together. And now we are in our full cow face. Our heart chakra is open when we're in this pose. And if this pose doesn't feel good, maybe we can switch sides, maybe trying the opposite arm on the bottom and bringing the other hand above. Noticing how one pose may be doable and one may not. As we know, each side of our bodies feel different. Just taking a moment to notice how this feels in our body. As we come out, softly coming out of this position, and simply just allowing our palms to relax on the earth with our eyes gazed down. Taking a moment to see how this feels in our bodies. Just wanna ensure that we didn't overstretch when we placed our hands behind our backs. So we're gonna hang out here for two more breaths. Now let's just say that we have a client who cannot get their hands in that full cow face but they want to get their hands in that full cow face. We can always give them some prep poses to do. So with them sitting in a cow face to get them in a position, we can ask them to take, we can start with either side. I'm going to start with the, with the right. We can ask them to take their right hand and place it behind their backs with their fingertips facing, with their fingertips facing downward. And we can ask them to take their opposite hand and just connect it to their elbow and push their hand behind that back. See that there? So we are simply just sitting in our cow face and we are using our opposite hand to push our hand behind our backs, nice and slow, ensuring that we are not causing any, any pressure. And if we notice, if we have our heart chakra open, meaning if we're not sunken down, our backs are nice and straight, we will be able to get into that pose even more. So heart chakras open the chin slightly up as we softly push that elbow towards the back. This is a nice prep pose for us or our clients to get them into that cow face. Yes. We're gonna hang out here for three more breaths. Taking natural breaths, relaxing the body. As we slowly come out and we're going to Place our palms on the earth just for a couple seconds to relax and soothe. Then we're gonna switch sides. We're gonna take this left hand for me and place it behind the backs with the fingertips facing downward towards the earth. I'm gonna take my right hand, lift it over my head and push my elbow towards the back. With my, noticing how my heart chakra comes up. Noticing how the back is nice and straight and up. We don't want to be sunken down, always nice and straight. It allows us to get into that position more, yes. So maybe just giving that a try. Ensuring that we are not pushing back too hard. We don't want to cause too much. We don't want to um, overstretch the body here. Three more breaths. As we exhale out of that position, Maybe coming into our salute, bringing our palms above our head. Exhale into prayer. As we flow into a half lotus or a lotus, whatever feels good for you, we are in our seated position. Tight. Both of our palms are flat on the earth next to our bodies. As we allow our bodies to lean towards the right, we're going to work on a C spine here. Our bodies lean towards the right. Our head relaxes down towards our shoulder. As we lift that left arm over our head, feeling that stretch, maybe allowing our right shoulder to relax downward towards the earth even more, noticing how our bodies come closer to the earth. We're gonna relax in this pose with three breaths. And if we choose, maybe we can slightly gaze up at our arm or our hand 
Noticing how that opens up our heart chakra a little bit more. Only if we choose. Slightly gazing up. Two more breaths. As we exhale out, placing both palms on the earth. As we see spine opposite side, body leans towards the left. Relaxing the body as our right arm goes over our head, feeling that C spine. Head relaxes down towards the shoulder. Two more breaths. And for those who choose, maybe we can gaze up at that right arm, noticing how our heart chakra opens up. Two more breaths. As we exhale to center, relaxing the body, hanging out here just for two breaths. As we allow our fingertips to come up to our shoulders, and we're just gonna do a couple of shoulder rotations to the back. We are now working on the upper parts of our bodies, basically ensuring that we didn't hurt or injure anything when we went into that cow face arms. So a couple natural breaths here, rotating our shoulders towards the back. Two more breaths. As we find our pause and rotate forward. Finding our pause at center, maybe we can straighten our arms out towards the side. We're gonna work on building a little bit more strength in the upper parts of our bodies. And maybe rotate our arms forward. We can go S, we can do big circles, or we can do small circles. Fast or slow, whatever you feel your body needs at this moment. And maybe we're already starting to feel the burn in our arms, noticing that little movements can have a big impact. As we find our pause at center and rotate our arms opposite direction, yes. Feeling the movements here, feeling the burn. Five more breaths. Yes, I see Maria is going nice and big, and I see some people are going nice and small. Yes, maybe playing around with each with the big circles and then the small circles, and just taking notice of how the different circles feel within the body. That way, when we have clients who are looking to work upper parts of their bodies, we know what we can do for them. Two more breaths, feeling that burn as we find our pause. We're gonna breathe our palms above our head and our salute. Now when our heart chakra to come up, our chin is slightly up as our arms fall slightly towards the back of the room. This is a slight back bend here. This is also a counter stretch to the arm pose we just did. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling up to our salute, palms together as we breathe down to prayer. Relaxing the body as we flow onto our knees, coming into a tabletop. We are on our hands and our knees, ensuring that our knees are hip distance apart. As we drop down to our cow, noticing how this feels, how the cow feels in our lower parts of our spine. As we breathe to our cat, chin comes towards our clavicle. Spinal cord goes up in the air. Flowing back to our cow. Exhale into cat. Breathing back to cow. And in our cow, we're gonna hang out in our cow just for a second. And we're gonna do a couple of circular motions here, circular motions here at our hips. Our tummy's tight and we are rotating our hips, noticing how this feels in our lower back. Two more breaths. As we find our pulse and we're gonna rotate our hips in the opposite direction. As we find our pulse, we're gonna flow back to our cat. Exhale into our table as we breathe our right leg towards the back, working on our sunburn here. This is a balancing pose as well as a strengthening pose. Our core is tight and we are gaze forward. 
if for any reason we need to lower our toes down towards the earth, feel free to do so. Once we have our balance, either our leg is straight to the back or our toes are lowered down, maybe we can extend that left arm forward as we are gazing forward. Now we are in our full sun bird here. May we hang out here for four breaths, building strength. Two more breaths. As we breathe in, nice big breath. Exhale, knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Blowing back to bird, hanging out here. Two breaths. We're going to continue to build strength. We're going to do a couple of pauses if we're able. Pausing our leg up. Noticing how this feels. When we do our pauses, we are working our gluteus maximus, our buttocks here. Three breaths, feeling a burn, finding our pause, exhaling back to table. As we drop down to our cow, exhale to our cat, flowing back to our table. As we sunburn opposite side, taking that left leg straight out to the back, feeling that stretch here. We are gaze forward, our core is nice and tight. Keeping in mind that we can always lower our toes downward towards the earth, if that feels good for us. Whatever we choose, as we breathe that right arm forward, we are in our full sunburn here. Gazing forward, building strength, four breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe in, Exhale, knee to elbow, back to bird, knee to elbow, back to bird, knee to elbow. Blowing back to bird, hanging out here, two more breaths. If we choose, doing a couple of pulses, pulsing that left leg up, working our gluteus maximus on the opposite side. Three more breaths. Exhale back to table, dropping down to our cow. Exhale to cat, rolling back to our table as we work on our thread the needle. And if we choose, we're gonna start on the right side. And if we choose, yes, we're gonna breathe that arm up, opening up that heart chakra. If we choose, filling that stretch before we thread that right arm through the left, our heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. Maybe we can close our eyes or gaze our eyes down if that feels good for us. We can also wrap that left arm around our backs or extend that arm over your head. Whatever you choose to find comfort here. And maybe rest out in this pose for five natural breaths. Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that on, and may we unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table as we thread the needle opposite side, feeling that stretch if we choose before we thread that on through the right, heart chakra comes down, eyes are closed. Allowing our shoulder blades to melt forward into the yoga mat. Maybe wrapping that right arm around the back or extending it over your head if that feels good for you. Five more breaths. Three more breaths. Three more breaths. 
as we slowly unwrap that arm, we're gonna unthread that needle, finding our bodies back into our table as we drop down to our cow, flow into our cat, coming back to our table as we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing back at our feet. Maybe we can pedal our feet walking our dog, noticing how this feels in the body. Tummy is nice and tight here. Finding our paws here in our down dog, pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that stretch nice and deep here. As we exhale to our up dog, bringing our bodies forward, our thighs are off the earth here. Yes, noticing the difference between that up dog and the cobra. In the cobra, our thighs are on the earth. In the up dog, our thighs are off. Chin slightly up here. Exhale back down dog. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that stretch. Exhale to high plank. We are working the upper parts of our bodies here. We can flow down to a, to a low plank if that feels good for us. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale down to low plank or chaturanga, hovering over our yoga mat. Two breaths. Exhale down to Spanx pose. We are on our tummies. We are on our forearms. We are in our Sphinx, on our tummies, on our forearms, with our shoulders relaxed away from the ears. See that there? So we don't want to be down. We want to relax the shoulders away from the ears. Noticing how this is a slight back bend. With our chin slightly up, we are also using this pose to relax and soothe the mind and body from the poses we just did. So maybe hang out here for three more breaths. Two more breaths. Noticing that our heart rate, our heartbeat is starting to regulate. Two more breaths. Maybe taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Noticing how that breath made the body feel. Eyes gaze down. As we breathe our palms next to our torso, next to our chest, we're gonna come up to a cobra. Our thighs are on the earth. Now we can come into a baby cobra if we choose. Noticing in our baby cobra, our elbows are bent. And in our cobra, our elbows are straight. So that's the difference between a baby cobra and a cobra, straight elbows. And again, the up dog is when we lift our thighs off the earth, gazing slightly up. Now that's the up dog. Flowing back down to that cobra. Coming back down to that baby cobra. Coming back down to that sphinx. Hanging out here in the sphinx pose for two more breaths. <sighs> As we flow into a superman or supergirl. We're gonna come down flat on our bellies. We're gonna bring our hands forward and we're taking our toes off the earth there. See, like we are, it's like we're flying. We are in our Superman, Supergirl. This pose is not good for pregnant people. This is a slight back bend as we are gazing forward. And we can rock like we're flying if we choose, or we can stay still. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Yes, I see Maria, somebody flying, okay. <laughs> yes, we're gonna find our pause and we're gonna swim our hands towards the back, coming into a locust pose. A locust pose is a deeper back bend. In the locust, our feet are still off the earth, but our palms are towards the back. Palms are facing up towards the heavens. Heart chakra comes off the earth, yes. Just a little bit more. Filling that back bend here. We are in our locust, gazing forward. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Our bodies are getting nice and warm now. As we exhale down, just relaxing our bodies here, keeping our hands in our locust position. 
maybe allowing our forehead to relax on the earth. As we breathe back up into our locust pose, lifting our heart chakra off the earth, lifting our feet off the earth, feeling that slight back bend here. As we flow into our bow pose or our half bow, to get in our bow, we simply connect our hands to our ankles. Now we're in our half bow. We can connect the opposite hand to our opposite ankle to flow into our full bow. Lifting our heart chakra, see that they are off the earth even more. This is a deeper back bend. We're gonna hang out here three to four breaths. If anyone chooses, they can come on out and come into a Sphinx pose. Two more breaths. Exhaling down, relaxing the body. Swimming our hands back forward. Coming into a rest pose. We're gonna connect the, our palms on top of each other and rest our cheeks or our forehead onto our hands. Finding our minds and bodies relaxing here. Allowing our torso to melt forward with our eyes closed or gaze down. Silent meditation, five natural breaths. Three more breaths. As we slowly come out of that sleep pose, we're gonna find our bodies back in our Sphinx pose. Coming up to our forearms, our shoulders are melted away from our ears. This is our slight back bend here. We're gonna hang out here, two breaths. Bringing our palms close to our torso, we're gonna come up to our cobra or our baby cobra. Baby cobra, bent elbows, cobra, straight elbows, whatever you feel. As we flow up to our up dog, thighs are off the earth, chin is slightly up, heart chakra is open. Two breaths. Exhale, down dog, gazing back at our feet. Tummies are nice and tight here. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that stretch. Maybe we can walk our dog by pedaling our feet if that feels good for you. As we find our pause, we're gonna come into a three-legged dog right side, bringing that right leg in the air nice and high as we gaze back at our foot. Maybe bending that right foot towards that left buttocks, opening up that hip. And for those who choose, may we flow over into a wild thing. If we choose, the wild thing is a deeper back bend. The poses we just did prepared our bodies for wild thing. Feeling this nice deep back bend. Three more breaths. As we exhale out, coming into a down dog, gazing back at our feet, pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that stretch. And we're gonna keep on building strength here. We're gonna flow to our three-legged dog, opposite side. Left leg's in the air, nice and high. Gazing back at that foot. Bending that left foot towards that right buttocks, opening up that hip. And if we choose, only if we choose, flowing over to that wild thing, feeling that full body stretch. <sighs> Three more breaths. As we exhale to our down dog, Gazing back at our feet. How do our feet walking our dog? We're gonna hang out here just for a second. As we come into a pigeon pose, right side, we're gonna bring that right foot forward. 
Just bringing that right foot forward. Yes, coming into that pigeon. Right foot forward. This is a relaxing pose. It's also a stretching pose. Pigeon poses prepares the mind and body for split. Here in our pigeon, maybe giving our bodies a rest, coming down to a sleeping pigeon if we choose. Just taking a moment's rest here. Bending our torso forward over that thigh. Allowing our bodies to relax a little bit more here. Sleeping pigeon. Eyes are gazed down or closed. Torsos melted forward into the yoga mat. As we use this to relax and soothe. Five breaths. Two more breaths. And now with Pigeon, maybe we can take a nice deep breath in. And exhale, staying in our Pigeon. Noticing how that felt in the body. Breathe in. Exhale. Noticing what the breath does to the body. As we use our hands to slowly push our torso up from that sleeping pigeon here. Noticing how this feels. We are in this back bend. As we softly gaze over that right shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. <sighs> Exhaling back to center as we softly gaze over that left shoulder, maybe taking our left hand and connecting it to our leg, feeling that stretch and that twist here. We're going to hang out here four breaths. Maybe we can come into a king pigeon or a mermaid if we choose by lifting that back leg up. And connecting that back leg to our hand or putting that back leg in our elbow, whatever feels good for you. We also, if we're in our pigeon or our king pigeon, we can also get that strap, connect that strap around our foot, and we can be in our pigeon or mermaid this way. If we choose, chin comes up. If we choose, simply, pay, simply playing around here in this pose. You're gonna hang out here for four more breaths. And if you choose to go back down to that sleeping pigeon, feel free to do so. We're gonna do a bonus here. Four more breaths, relax in the body. Two more breaths. As we relax that back leg, straightening out that leg, coming back forward, framing that front leg here, using our hands to push our torso away from our leg, chin comes slightly up, feeling that back bend. Breathe in. Exhaling that leg back to the back, coming to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Maybe pushing our torso towards our thighs. And maybe we can walk our dog by pedaling our feet. Our core is nice and tight as we breathe that left foot forward, coming into the pigeon opposite side, bringing that left foot forward, bringing it in front of us. Yes, preparing a body for split here in our pigeon. And if we choose, we can come on down to that sleeping pigeon, giving our bodies a little rest, relaxation, soothing. Allowing our eyes to close and melt down. Allowing our torso to melt forward into the yoga mat. Completely relaxing the mind and body here. Five 
five breaths. Three more breaths. As we slowly awaken that sleeping pigeon, if we choose, using our hands to push our torso up from out of that sleeping pigeon, feeling that slight back bend here, chin is slightly up, heart chakra is open. As we slightly gaze over that left shoulder, feeling that spinal twist, two breaths. Exhale and back to center. As we gaze over that right shoulder, maybe placing our right hand on our right leg, feeling that stretch and twist. And if we choose, maybe we can flow into a king pigeon or a mermaid using our strap if we choose to get into the pose. Or we can flow back down to that sleeping pigeon, whatever you choose. We're gonna hang out here for a couple breaths. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. As we relax that leg to the back, if we were in our king pigeon, mermaid, Using our hands to push our torsos up. Our heart chakra comes open, chins filling this back bend here. Maybe allowing our head to fall between our shoulder blades if that feels good for us. Feeling that stretch. As we breathe in, exhaling to down dog, bringing that leg back to the back, gazing at our feet. Exhale a high plank. Um, yes, exhale a high plank. Mm -hmm. As we float up dog, breathe back down dog. As we bring that right hand, we are in our runner's lunge. Just for a second, runner's lunge. Right foot, right hand. Yes. And we're going to bring this right arm inside of our right leg. We're going to you to work on opening up our hips and our split here. So we are we are now in our lizard and for those who choose we can come deeper in that lizard by coming down to our forearms. If we choose this is a deeper hip opener this, if the forearms is too deep we can bring a block in front of us we can give the clients an option to bring the block in front of us and we can come down on our block on our forearms. See that there? Yes and we also have the option of having our knee on the earth or having it off the earth. So whatever feels good for you. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Feeling a stretch here. Preparing the body for split. Opening up these joints here. Hip flexors are opening. As we come on out using our hands to push our body, our torsos are up away from the earth as we work on a revolve twist, twisting our body towards our leg, towards the right. Twisting our body towards the right, right arm goes up in the air. Yes, feeling that stretch, feeling that twist. Three breaths. Noticing how this feels in the body. Two more breaths. Exhale forward, bringing that palm inside the thighs. Both palms are on the earth. As we exhale, down dog. Gazing back at our feet. Breathing to our up dog. Exhale back, down dog. As we bring that left foot to left hand, runner's lunge, opposite side. Out here for a couple breaths. 
as we flow into our lizard if we choose, bringing that left hand inside of our thighs. Now, both of our palms are inward, palms are flat on the earth. And if we choose, we can come on down to our forearms, or we can come on down to that block. We are in our lizard. <sighs> Noticing how this feels in the body, four breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly use our palms to push our bodies up out of that lizard, we're gonna twist our bodies towards our left leg, coming into a revolve twist, opposite side, left arm goes up in the air. As we're gazing up at that left arm, feeling that stretch, feeling that twist. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we exhale forward, both of our palms are flat on the earth. As we breathe back down dog, exhale into our dolphin, coming onto our forearms. We are in our dolphin pose, butt axe is high in the air. Maybe walking our feet towards our torso, noticing how the butt comes higher in the air. This dolphin pose prepares the body for headstand. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. As we drop to our knees, coming into a wide-legged position, and either we can flow down to a wide-legged child's pose or a puppy pose. Whatever you choose, we're gonna hang out here for six breaths. Maybe taking in a nice deep breath. Exhaling, gazing the eyes down and allowing our shoulder blades to melt forward into the mat. Three more breaths. And if our hands weren't already, maybe we can extend our palms in front of our bodies to a extended child's pose or puppy pose. Heart chakra is touching the earth here. Two more breaths. As we slightly gaze forward with our palms on the earth, we're gonna flow into a couple of spinal waves. Using our palms, forward and using our palms to push our buttocks towards the heels of our feet. Noticing how this feels in a spinal wave in the body. We can go as fast or as slow as we choose. As we find pause, we're going to come on down to a, to a child's pose. Wide-legged child's pose, bringing our torso between our thighs. I just want to ensure that we all know the difference between a child's pose and a puppy pose. So in a child's pose, our torso can be between our thighs and our buttocks is close to our heels. And this is how we relax in our child's pose. We're going to hang out here for two weeks. As we flow into our puppy pose, maybe bringing our knees a little bit closer together and our buttocks is higher in the air and our heart chakra comes downward towards the earth and our arms are extended in front of us. And now we are in our puppy pose. So that's the difference between the child's and puppy. We're gonna hang out here, two more breaths. As we out of this child's pose or this puppy pose, spine and waving out, coming into a table. As we push our bodies up to a down dog. Gazing back at our feet. As we breathe that 
right foot to that right hand. We are in our runner's lunge just for a second. As we push our bodies up to our high lunge or our warrior one. So high lunge or warrior one. As we flow to warrior two. Noticing how this feels in the lower parts of our bodies, our inner, our outer thighs, our buttocks. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to warrior one. Lunge. Two more breaths. Exhale, warrior two. As we flow to reverse warrior, Exhale to side angle or extended side angle. Two breaths. Exhaling back to warrior two. Low into warrior one or high lunge. As we frame that front foot, coming into a Runner's lunge, just twisting the body slightly as we breathe to that pyramid, straightening out that front leg. Allow the torso to relax over that front thigh. Allowing our head to melt downward with our eyes closed. This here is a counter stretch to the poses we just did. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. As we bend that knee, coming into a runner's lunge. Exhaling down dog. Gazing back at our feet, walking our dog. As we breathe that left foot to that left hand, runner's lunge, opposite side. As we flow up to our high lunge or our warrior one, whatever feels good for you. Four breaths. We are working the lower parts of our bodies on the opposite side. Two more breaths. As we flow to warrior two, feeling the movements here. Two more breaths. Exhale, warrior one. Flow into warrior two. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, reverse warrior. As we flow to side angle or extended side angle, arms up in the air or over the head. Two breaths. Exhale back to warrior two. Feeling our bodies getting nice and warm here. As we breathe back to warrior one. Framing, coming into a runner's lunge, twisting the body slightly forward, runner's lunge. As we straighten that front leg, coming into a Allowing that torso to melt forward, head falls down. Three more breaths. Exhale, around his lunge, bending that front knee. Breathing back, down dog. As we come to a complete forward fold, walking the hands towards the foot, feet towards the hands, forward fold. Allowing our torso to relax downward. Noticing how this feels behind our legs and our hamstrings. This is also a relaxing and soothing pose. May we hang out here, four more breaths. Two more breaths. Maybe we can yogi walk our legs slightly apart and come into a rag doll. That feels good for you. Hugging our elbows with our hands. Noticing how this feels within the body. 
We can also sway from side to side if that feels good. We're gonna hang out here four more breaths. Exhale to half forward fold. Heart chakra slightly up, slightly gazing forward. Half forward fold. Two breaths. Breathe back, complete forward fold. And exhale to half. As we flow up to our Tadasana, our mountain pose, our palms are at our side, parallel side by side. Now listen how this feels. Maybe we can pedal our feet, moving our legs from side to side, just taking a moment's rest here. <sighs> As we breathe our palms above our head and our standing salute for our extended mountain. Noticing in our standing salute, our palms are together. In our extended mountain, our palms are separated. That is the difference between the two. Whatever you choose feels good for you. Exhale into standing prayer, bringing our palms at heart center. Allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum. Shoulder blades melted down from the ears. Tummy's nice and tight. Spinal cord is nice and long. Three breaths. Hanging at our hips, coming into a forward fold. Palms are still at heart center. Two breaths. As we bend our knees, coming into a chair pose, we're gonna work the lower parts of our bodies a little bit more. We are in our chair pose, building strength, lower parts of our bodies. We can be in our prayer hands or we can extend our palms in front of us. Whatever feels good for you. Chair pose, five breaths. Three more breaths. Our palms are extended, maybe bring them at prayer hands. As we twist our bodies right side, gazing over that right, we're gazing slightly towards the right, shall I say? Two breaths. Exhale to center. Tear twist, opposite side. Exhale back to center. Extending our palms in front of us, applying more pressure to the backs of our feet, to the heels of our feet. Noticing where we feel this in our knees. Two breaths. Exhale, complete forward fold, relaxing the body. This here is a counter stretch. It's relaxing and soothing the pose we just did. Maybe taking a nice deep breath in here. Exhale. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Two more breaths. Exhale into half forward fold. Coming back to our Tadasana. Palms are at our side. Just for a second as we come into a wide legged stance. We are wide-legged here as we hinge at our hips, coming into a wide-legged forward fold. And maybe we can rock our bodies towards our torso, towards our thigh. Then rock our torso towards our other thigh. Noticing how this feels here in our hamstrings. This is the counter stretch to the chair pose we just, we just did. It's relaxing and soothing our knees and behind our legs. Maybe we can find pause and just allow our bodies to relax completely down. Head falls over like a red dog. Maybe allowing our palms to touch the earth or connecting each hand to our ankles or feet. Whatever feels good for you. Three more breaths. <clears throat> and we're gonna come up to a half forward fold. So half forward fold as we breathe our right hand towards our right, I'm sorry, our right hand towards our left foot, feeling that cross body stretch. So right hand connects to left foot. We're gonna take the left arm and wrap it around our backs like a thread the needle. And we're gonna gaze over that left shoulder, feeling this stretch here. Three breaths.
Exhaling back to center, palms on the earth. We're connecting each palms to our ankles, whatever feels good for you. Forward fold. Exhale into half. As we breathe our left hand to our right foot, wrapping our right arm around our backs like we do in our thread the needle. And softly gaze over that right shoulder, feeling that stretch. Three breaths. Exhaling back to center, complete forward fold, allowing our palms to touch the earth. We're connecting our palms to our ankles. Allowing our head to fall over like a rag doll. Two more breaths. Exhale into a half forward fold. As we breathe up, to our wide-legged Tadasana. Palms are at our side, but we are still wide-legged as we are gonna flow down to a goddess stance. Bending our knees, pointing our feet slightly outwards and towards the opposite direction, and we are nailing our goddess. Coming into our goddess hands, if that feels good, we can place our palms on our laps if that feels good. We can also flow into a squat if that feels good. We are just working the lower parts of our bodies here. So whatever you choose here, Five breaths. Three more breaths. And maybe we can do a couple, if we're in our squat or our goddess, we're gonna do a couple of pulses, pulsing up, pulsing down, working and strengthening the lower parts of our body. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Finding our pause, two breaths. Exhale to standing star, straightening out our arms off to the side. Our legs are spread apart. We are in our standing star. Heart chakra is open, chin is slightly up. Two breaths. Breathing our palms above our head and our salute palms together. Maybe allowing our palms to fall towards the back, heart chakra comes up, feeling that slight back bend. Two more breaths. Up to standing as we bring our palms at heart center, falling down to a complete forward fold. Hinging at the hips, we are in our half as we flow down to our full forward fold. Hinging our bodies forward to gaze at the computer screen. We are in our pyramid as we flow to our down dog. <laughs> down dog. We're gonna come on down to our forearms coming into a dolphin. Gazing back at our feet, three breaths. Walking our feet towards our torso. Bringing our buttocks higher in the air. Two more breaths. Dropping down to our knees, coming into a child's pose or puppy pose. We're gonna hang out here for breaths, using this pose to relax and soothe. Extending our palms in front of us. Maybe rocking our bodies from side to side if we choose. Maybe coming into a prayer hands, connecting our hands together and then bringing our palms above our head. We are in our child's pose, prayer hands. Using this pose to relax and soothe and go inward. Silent meditation. 
of self-care for six natural breaths. Extending out arms in front of us, coming into an extended child's pose. Arms are in front of us. Fixing our palms flat on the earth as we spine the wave our bodies out of that child's pose. Maybe we can do two to three spinal waves. Maybe doing a couple of circular rotations here with our head and rotating our bodies at our hips. Tummy's nice and tight. Simply having fun here with our spinal rotations here. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, finding our bodies back at our table. As we drop down to our cow, knees are hip distance apart, dropping down to our cow. Exhale into our cat. Flowing back to our table as we cross our feet behind us, coming into a seated position. Any easy seat that feels good for you. Maybe find that position. I'm going to come into a half lotus. <sighs> Ensuring that our core is nice and tight. And our spinal cords are nice and long. Shoulders relax down away from the ears. Facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. Our bodies are relaxed. As we breathe our palms at heart center, seated prayer, maybe allowing to touch our sternum if that feels good. Gazing down if you choose. As we breathe in through the nose, exhale, mouth. Breathe in, exhale. Taking notice of what the breath does to the body. as we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. Or in the busy, chaotic world, finding ways to practice self-care and finding ways to go inward and take care of self truly is a blessing and an assessment. The light in me, see, appreciates, and respects the light in all of you. Namaste.